Hi everyone, my name is Ijoma Uchibe. Welcome to my channel where I talk about human resource related content and its intersection with the law under the Ninja HR Chick series with MOA. So today's topic hmm, is a very interesting one. We're going to be talking about working from home dress codes, right? Yes, 2020 has been a very challenging year. What with the pandemic, and especially in Nigeria, we had the NSAS protests a um, couple of weeks ago. So it's been a very challenging year, and more often than not, we found ourselves working from home longer than we expected. I know that in my office, we've been working from home since like March, and it has been a very interesting learning curve for me because I happen to be the practice manager of the foremost. Uh, law firm in Lagos, Nigeria. And the question you're going to ask, okay, so how were you able to wiggle your way? Do you guys have a approved, you no know, official, uh, what do you call it now? A dress code policy? I'm afraid we don't. But somehow we just work with what we have. So on the spot, I know that, yes, when we have meetings, we usually wear like t shirts comfortable t-shirts with trousers or whatever tickles your fancy it could be a skirt but more often than not i found that most of our staff members were wearing trousers in very few occasions you had people wearing shirts maybe they had had meetings outside their homes with clients and they had just got back right before the meeting but in all that i always tell members of staff i said always wear something that makes you comfortable not so comfortable that you lose touch of the image that you're trying to project to our clients and stakeholders that we are a serious law firm who are working from home case in point you would not want to have a meeting with a potential client even if you think he's his startup from a tech industry for instance and wear slacks it's not just uh, about first impressions but there's this image it creates almost like oh you're not going to be taking our business very seriously and i'm not sure we want to give all that image we had that video that went viral when someone was being interviewed by the bbc where his toddler walked into the room and he stood up and we could see that he was fully dressed but i think he had shorts or boxers underneath it to tell you that well, for most countries, working from home has always been something they had been doing and they were used to it and I'm sure they had developed dress code policies around there. So picture him wearing slacks to talk to that news anchor. It would not... I'm sure people would leave what he was talking about and start talking about the fact that, oh, you shouldn't have worn what you did to come online or talk to someone that respected on air. But that informed my statement. Be comfortable, but as much as possible, do not lose touch of the fact that you have clients. You have an image to protect, and it will not be nice if for any reason that video gets out. Knowing how hackers work these days, you are seen in slacks for a meeting like that. It's going to be a very, very bad look for your company. And even for you, who is the person in the eye of the storm. So... Personally, it has worked for me because it makes me a little bit more alert. Yes, I know that I'm no longer working in the office, but I know that I have to still look good enough. Wear something like this on Fridays, even if it's a sleeveless. At least it looks like, okay, it's covering some better part of my body. Even if I stretch back, you can almost tell that I am comfortable having this conversation with you the person understands that i cannot wear traditional attire even if it's a friday and that's why i'm wearing what i am wearing amongst other things but be comfortable but please do not forget the image you are trying to portray to your clients and stakeholders and i think that for me it should be like a guideline for whatever you want to wear going forward when you work from home post pandemic and even during this pandemic so let me know in the comment section what you think and some tips that you can give for people who are thinking of how to go around dressing well or about dress code from working from home in the comment section and don't forget to like share this video if you enjoy this content and subscribe to my channel i'll chat with you guys next time